Good morning, Facebook family, and welcome to our Reflect and Revive. This morning, I want to share a quick story, and it's about a baby giraffe. Well, when a baby giraffe is born, it drops 10 feet off the ground and lands on its back. And if that wasn't bad enough, when it lands on the ground, the mom turns around to look at the baby, gives it a little glance, and then kicks it, sends it off land. And the mom continues to do this to the baby. Looks at the baby, kicks it again. Baby tries to get up, falling all over the place, kicks the baby again. Till finally, the little poor baby giraffe gets sturdy on its little legs and is standing. Well, guess what? The mom turns around and looks at the baby and kicks it one more time. And what does that mean to you and me? Well, I guess it just had me thinking about always being knocked down, but never knocked out. And the scripture that I want to use with you guys this morning, or share with you guys this morning, it comes out of Psalms 13 verses 1 through 6. And it says, How long will thou forget me, Lord? Forever? How long will thou hide the face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemies be exalted over me? Verse 3. Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him. Lest those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But, verse 5. I have trusted in thy mercies. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. You know, how long, Lord? How long? How long will you forget me? How long do I have to go through this trial? How long will you not, you know, look at me? You know, how long do I have to be down and, and depressed? How long? You know, I'm sure that all of us have, you know, experienced that in our walk with the Lord you know, is one thing after another, you know, the enemy seems to um, come after us so relentlessly, you know, doesn't leave us alone, you know. But in, in verse 3, um, I think this is a Psalm of David. He says, consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. Consider, consider me, look at me, you know, not only look at me, but hear me listen to my cry listen to what i'm asking look at what i'm going through look at me lord consider me and then it goes on to say lighten my eyes you know and when i did this study for sunday school it was like put the sparkle back in my eye i have down i have been down and depressed for too long is just put that sparkle back in my eyes you know, just open my eyes to what I know is there. Open my eyes to who I know is there. Open my eyes to what I know you're able to do because I know that you have seen me through. You know, remembering what God has done for me and remembering what God has done for you as um, David also thinks about the things that God has done for him. In verse... Um, five and six, it says, um, give me a second. I lost my page. In verse five and six, it says, um, but I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in my salvation. You know, we have trusted that, um, he has redeemed us, that, you know, he has loved us, that he has been merciful to us. And it says, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Not only this, our salvation from judgment, but our salvation from our enemies. Everything that he has kept us from, you know, the protection that he bestows on us. You know, the trouble that we are in and how he is working it out for us. Um, verse 6, it says, I will sing unto the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Enough of this, how long, Lord? Enough of this, oh, I'm down in, in the dumps, I'm depressed. Enough of all that. 
because there is a new song in our spirit. There is something that God is, is doing and is worth singing about. And not only that, but remember, you know, the blessings that he, have be, he has bestowed upon your life. It's not just doom and gloom. It's a season of that depression. It's a season of that doom and gloom. But there's something bigger and there's something brighter if you just continue to seek his face because as it says enlighten my eyes lighten my eyes is ask god to put that spiritual sparkle back in your eyes and the only way that he can do that and the only way that you're able to see that way is allowing him to finish what he started whether it is in you or whether it is in this trial or whether it is the enemy coming up against you ask him to put that sparkle back in your eyes so you can actually see what god is doing through you and with you god bless you i hope you have an awesome day and i'll just close out close out in a prayer precious father in jesus mighty name I ask you, Heavenly Father, that you would just put that sparkle back in your people's eye, dear God, that they would not um, lose focus on you, dear God, that what's going on in this world would not continue to be a distraction, Heavenly Father, but just an attraction to be able to weep and war against what's going on, Heavenly Father. I pray, dear God, in Jesus' mighty name, dear Lord, that my brothers and sisters in Christ would see how they can put the enemy to run heavenly father and i pray dear god in jesus mighty name heavenly father that they would be able to allow you to do what is best for them and even though they might not see it during this season pray heavenly father for those that don't know you as well dear god that they would accept you heavenly father not only as savior but lord of their lives and we just thank you for what you're doing in jesus mighty name God bless you and have an amazing day. I love you. Bye-bye.